Sometimes, there are parts of your sample you just don't need to analyze. As easy as that sounds, it can be technically difficult. To overcome this challenge, Frontier Lab developed a simple technique that utilizes the pressure difference between the purge gas and the carrier gas. Unlike traditional flow switching systems, the Frontier flow paths have no dead volume or cold spots and no leaks or carryover contamination. Let's use our commercial eyeliner example again. The EGA thermogram of the eyeliner showed a total of five zones. Three zones, A, B, and C, are the volatiles in the sample, and two zones, D and D, e, originate from the polymeric materials in the sample. To simplify the complexity of eyeliner characterization, you can program your micro furnace into multiple temperature zones and obtain separate GCMS chromatograms for each thermal zone. You can also selectively choose not to analyze any specific temperature zone. Now let's see how Frontier's selective sampler technology can enable you to analyze or discard any part of your sample's material characterization. If you are not interested in analyzing zone A, for instance, you can easily discard this zone. But if you want to identify the compounds at zone B, the selective sampler enables you to perform the separation analysis and obtain the corresponding GCMS chromatogram. First, the micro furnace is heated to 40 degrees Celsius as programmed. This temperature was obtained from our EGA thermogram zone A. Then, the sample cup drops into the micro furnace. The micro furnace temperature reaches 120 degrees Celsius while the sample cup stays in the furnace. Then the micro furnace starts to cool down. And, because we want to discard zone A, all the thermally desorbed compounds are vented out using the selective sampler's valve. So, you do not obtain any GCMS chromatogram from the temperature zone of 40 to 120 degrees Celsius. The sample cup is moved out of the micro furnace to the ambient temperature, so it is not exposed to any heat while the micro furnace is getting ready for zone B. The movement of the sample cup out of the micro furnace in between temperature zones eliminates any chance for degradation and thermosetting of the sample. When the micro furnace reaches the set temperature for zone B, the sample cup drops into the furnace again. The micro furnace heats up to 220 degrees Celsius. Since we want to analyze this zone, desorbed compounds are trapped at the head of the column using the microjet cryo trap. The micro furnace temperature starts cooling down to 120 degrees Celsius. The selective sampler valve then opens and analysis begins. The sampler cup moves up again to the ambient temperature, and it is protected from heat until the furnace is ready for the next zone analysis. The GC starts, and the oven temperature starts to rise. Trapped compounds are separated and detected. Zone B analysis is complete. For analyzing or discarding the rest of the EGA zones, the same process happens. To learn more about the selective sampler and its applicability to your analytical protocols, simply connect with us.